Hello friends. Lately, I've been thinking about a comet. It's the comet schwarzman vachmann 3, a short period comet which comes around every five years or so. This comet has an interesting history of observation, and it'll be coming back again soon. While Arno Schwarzman and Arno Vachmann discovered comet schwarzman vachmann 3 back in May of 1930, but for many years the comet was pretty much lost, and was just another little short period comet trying to make its way in the solar system. It's turned up again in 1979, but still wasn't, didn't have a whole lot going on. It wasn't until late 1995 that things started to get exciting, and that's when the comet started to break up as it made its closest approach to the sun. And, uh, August of 1995. I remember well late in the year, Sky and Telescope magazine was reporting that the comet had broken up and that it was in four pieces, and these pieces, of course, were labeled A, B, C, and D. Unfortunately, I didn't have time and I had other things going on. I didn't get out there to see Comet Schwarzman Bachmann 3 in late 1995. Well, the comet comes around every 5.4 years, but the geometry means that some passes are just a lot better than others. The return of 2001 was so bad that our Hardly anybody saw the comet, and we didn't hear much about it. But the return of 2006 was another matter. The pieces of the comet were going to pass pretty close to Earth that year, and that time I was ready. In the morning sky of May of 2006, the pieces of the comet were laid out across the constellation Cygnus. You know, it's a big bird, although we usually these days tend to think of it as a northern cross. Well, anyhow, it was fascinating to see so many pieces of the comet laid out in a line across Cygnus like that in the morning sky. The B and C pieces were especially prominent. They both showed bright tails, as you can see there in the drawings that I made at the time. Well, you know, comets are kind of funny. Great comets don't come around too often, and schwarzman vachmann 3 was never a great comet. But you know, seen through the telescope, it looked a lot like a, or a couple of the pieces looked a lot like a great comet might look to the naked eye. It's one of the reasons I've always liked to follow the lesser comets. You never know when one of them will grow a nice tail or start breaking up and fragmenting. Well, Comet schwarzman vachmann 3 has made a couple more returns since 2006. The breakup has, has been ongoing, and some of the pieces are now in orbits different enough from the original orbit that the perihelions have been shifted by weeks or even months. The main fragment is considered to be fragment C, and when we see the comet come back in 2022, that'll be the main object that we'll be looking at. I'm not sure, but I think many of these lesser objects, these lesser fragments, have probably have, have disintegrated and will never be seen again. Well, anyhow, the comet is also responsible for the Tau Hercules meteor shower, and the radiant of that shower is well placed in the summer sky when the meteors come in late May and early June. It's hard to find much information, you know, on whether the meteor shower is scheduled to be very impressive in 2022, but some scientists have predicted that some of the uh, dust and so forth that was released in 1995 may cause quite an excellent shower of the, uh, display of the Tau Hercules in late May and early June of 2022. I'll just keep an eye on it myself and find out. The only way you can find out usually on these meteor showers and these predictions of really good showers or you might say storms is just to be out there under the sky when one finally happens. Well anyhow, one thing I can say about the 2022 return is that it appears to be safe for us. I don't have the freshest orbital elements in all these various fragments, but what I could see it appeared that the various pieces have had the perihelion shifted by quite a bit, but at least for this pass, it's not going to cause any of them to be dangerously close to us. In fact, I think that many of these lesser fragments, as I said, have probably fragmented and, and just come apart to the point we'll never see them again. The C fragment seems to be the main fragment of the comet, and that's what we'll be looking at next year, looking for next year. It's not scheduled to come overly close to us. I don't think there's any threat to us here from Comet Schwash and Bachmann 3. Well, anyhow, the summer of 2022 promises to be an exciting time for comet observers. It doesn't take much to observe comets like these. You know, sometimes even binoculars will suffice. The hardest thing I, I've found is that it's just getting a good position on a chart so you know where to look. I've long used a program called Megastar for this purpose. I can plot the, the comet's position and then print a chart. But there are plenty of newer planetarium programs which let you put in the orbital elements for each fragment and then plot, plot the location against the starry sky. It would be a good idea to get set up with such a program and learn how to use it well ahead of time. Well, anyhow, the current situation with Comet schwarzman vachmann 3 is stay tuned. So here's hoping for a good apparition in the summer of 2022.